you shoot the dice. This is a four one triple D connection. Scared money never made shit. Leave out on the track. In these streets, fuck around and lose your life. Real life street stars, Charlie Mo, Rook. We in here with Stack Moses. What it do? What's up, man? First of all, man, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna ask you where you're from, man. Where's Stack Moses from? Man, I'm originally from Fort Worth, Texas, man. Believe it or not. So. And uh, Stack Moses, he does uh, production work, man, filming. Um, how you get started doing that? Um. In filming, I actually started, uh, I had a, a website, diamondsofwood.com, and uh, I just picked up the camera to do, uh, you know, little interviews, shit like that, and um, just in my spare time, I started shooting music videos, and it just kind of just took on a life of its own. So that's-, that's how, long, how long you been in the game? About three and a half years, man, three and a half, four years. Yeah. Um, name, well, Instagram says it all, like, but name, tell us what the artist you've been working with. Uh, I work with, um, Scotty ATL, Big Crit, did some stuff for Maroon 5, David Banner, um, Outkast. Uh, I shot, you know, like for Vlad TV and had work like on Complex Magazine. So a lot of artists, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, the list, the list kind of goes on on I that. Like, so. My favorite, like Outkast. How did it feel working with Outkast? Man, uh, that was probably like the highlight moment of my career so far, you know what I'm saying? Just getting to go and, uh, you know, I shot the um, Outkast at last tour when they did the like little last performance in uh, Atlanta. And so that was that was a real dope experience. It was mainly really for Big Boy, but uh, you know, it was during the Outkast, Outkast concert, so. Um, can you name for us one of the best experience and one of the worst experience dealing with a client when you're shooting a film? Mm. This maybe uh again just you know that outcast experience was yeah, just yeah. you know what I'm saying like to 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 just be you know because it was just so many people that came out like backstage was crazy uh like a lot of the people that I grew up listening to and respecting and just uh, really looking up into the game was just was just there like you know on the scene so that was probably one of the dopest experiences uh worst experience it's probably something we all experience all the time just. Dealing with a client, <laughs> dealing with a client that don't want to pay, but <laughs> want million dollars worth of work for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably that's probably one of the more common experiences. Um, you know, who you look up to in the game? Man, um, man, I just got tagged in some dudes earlier today that they go hard out of Miami, Florida. I don't even remember the name of them, but uh, probably uh, from a director standpoint, like uh, Tony Scott. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a movie director. Um, Video, man, there's so many. I can, I, to be honest with you, I can't even remember. Like, I, I mean, there's so many of them on Instagram, and just, I mean, I look up to a lot of cats, but on some film shit, probably Tony Scott. What's up? What's up? Um, what made you start shooting videos? Mm, again, like I, I really, it just kind of chose me. Like I said, I just, I, I picked it up to shoot interviews for a website, and the rest just, just kind of fell into place. Okay. Um, what what uh, goals in the filming do you have? Uh, do you see yourself directing big movies in the future? At this point, probably. Uh, when I first started, I didn't. I never really wanted to be a film director, but my main goal is really to get into like doing some ad campaigns, like working with Nike, Adidas. Yeah. Uh, you know, but keeping it keeping it hood, keeping it urban at the same time but yeah i definitely want to get into like some big ad campaign stuff okay uh movies i, I don't know it just depends uh really uh i want to talk about this uh slut walk <laughs> amber rose slut walk what went down and uh what did you see i mean you know i i i, I I want to know. <laughs> he gonna put me on the spot. <laughs> man, uh, it was a positive event, man. You know what I'm saying? From a male perspective, it was, a, it was a positive event. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, you know what I'm saying? A few sluts there, but, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, on the cool though, you know, Cali just a different place, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, you know, Amber and Duffy and a lot of people caught a lot of slack for being involved, but out there, you know, it's a little bit more common, you know, like, I mean, 
I saw some nakedness, you know what I'm saying, yeah. some looseness, you know what I'm saying, a lot of partying. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, I, I did actually have a lot of respect for the event, though, on the cool. Like, yeah, you're the real MVP, my brother. <laughs> um, uh, so what, what, what cities have you touched? Um, Miami, um, L.A., Atlanta, of course, Dallas, uh, Fort Worth, Houston, um, pretty much the whole southern region, you yeah. know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. I've done work in, you know, Baton Rouge, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, so pretty much the whole southern region. Yeah, that's a, man, that's the a definition of grinding right there, brother. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what city would you say did you have the best experiences? Uh, I'm gonna probably say Atlanta. You know, Atlanta. that's that's where I actually I had so many good experiences there that I just went ahead and moved there. Like you know, yeah. it's it's definitely popping in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's my that's my joint. Already, man. We definitely feel you, man. Come away from Texas, man. Did you see any of, any of this back back then? Did you could you envision, you know, being being where you at right now? Nah, nah I didn't actually. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I mean, I started off on the music side of things, so yeah. I never would have saw myself actually shooting yeah. and doing what I'm doing now. What did you do with the music? Man, uh, I actually started off as a producer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I used to like yeah. do production. And you know, I, I mean, I did well, you know what I'm saying, with the production side of things, but it just kind of just kind of changed, you know what I'm saying? Once Fruity Loops and all that stuff came out, I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 jumped, I jumped out, you know what I'm saying? but. But nah, yeah, definitely this video shit is a, is a whole new whole new ball game. Okay, man. What what advice would you give to uh young upcoming directors? Uh this this probably, you know, having the same goals and dreams that you had and aspirations. I know this might sound cliche, you know what I'm saying? It might sound like the political thing to say, but yeah. I'm actually finding it, man, if you just keep working and just just keep, I mean, just don't give up and keep going. Like, you know what I'm saying? You'll get better, you know what I'm saying? Definitely believe and just be willing to take risks, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the one thing that, you know, a lot of people say, well, man, what you feel about your competition and shit? I'm like, man, you know, I mean, I left my family, you know, not on some left them behind for good, but you know, yeah. I mean, I didn't hesitate to, to move where it was popping at, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times we just want to stay in our comfort zone, man, and you can't really do nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You got to be willing to, you know what I'm saying, to just go ahead and just put it all on the line, you know what I'm saying? And it was hard, like, you know, I mean, shit, I definitely wasn't in a financial position to do it, but you know what I'm saying, I just took the chance and it paid off. How'd you link up with Dallas Finest DJ Duffy? Man, that was actually just like, kind of like a, a spur of the moment type of thing, man. Like I, I kind of, I saw it somewhere and I just reached out via email and was like, you know, I'd love to work with you one day. And she just happened to hit me up. And, uh, you know, it was like they were having like a, some kind of fashion show or something. And she had a big weekend coming up and she just asked me to tag along with her. And we just been rocking ever since. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I mean, I done been to Vegas for Memorial Day weekend with Duffy. I done been a lot of places with her. So, you know, it opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Okay. Uh, really? Do you do you see yourself going back to production a little bit? I don't know, man. I don't Why think not, I, brother? I don't know, man. I just because I work with a lot of artists and a lot of industry professionals, I just oh, okay. I honestly just don't see the benefit in it anymore. Like I like a lot of people be like, man, I'm finna start this label, and I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> like it's just the music game ain't what it used to be, man. It's like you know the money ain't it just. It's, you gotta spend a lot of money and might not make money, so I'm just, I'm just kind of like past that whole phase, like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's... Oh, really, man? Hey, how did you get the name Stack Moses? Man, that actually came from the music side of things. To be honest with you, like I was kind of just looking to rebrand because I used to go by Timo, which was my name. You know, that's what, yeah. it, it wasn't the name I made up. That's just what people call me. And uh, I was looking because you know my nieces and nephews call me Mo, so I was like, I need something that still got a Mo in it. Yeah. And uh, there was this uh, Isaac Hayes album called Black Moses, and so I was like, I really was just kind of joking. I was just like Stack Moses. I just called myself yeah, Stack Moses. Yeah. And I just did that just so that I could blog. And when I talk bad about niggas' music, they wouldn't know who it was. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of caught, you know what I'm saying? So that's really where it came from. 
So to to everybody, I don't know what year it was. <laughs> if you feel like you got sneak this, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I already man. But um, man, what else you got going on? What what, what upcoming things you got going on, bro? Man, uh, I'm actually um, I'm here in Dallas for uh, well until after Christmas. I'm shooting several music videos here in the area. Yeah. Uh, when I go back to Atlanta, I got some more work with Scotty, uh, Side High the Prince. Um, I've been doing a lot of work with B.O.B. Wow. And just uh, really, man, I'm just really trying to just kind of consolidate everything, just really focus on trying to get, like like I said, some ad campaigns. And, you know, I just been just taking the work to come to me, to be honest with you. Oh, really, man. And uh, you got a website? Yeah, uh, I am stackmoses.com. Uh, really, y'all, everybody, make sure you go to IamStackMoses.com. Any other way they can reach you, bro? Uh, well, all my social media is just Stack Moses. So, okay. you know, Instagram, Twitter. I don't really do Twitter and Snapchat too much. I have them, but I don't really, I yeah. just, you know, I'm an old, I'm an older yeah, cat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, like, I, it yeah. took me forever to get an Instagram, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, you yeah, know, I just but. just started mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, so, but yeah, Stack Moses. Everything's uh, ready, man. Well, we appreciate you coming through. Stack Moses, you are truly a real life street star. Appreciate you coming through, man. Appreciate y'all, man.